I was really lucky um, that mum, mum and dad both <coughs> supported everything from a young age with ponies and things like that and then gradually sort of built into pony racing and and, um, and that it just kind of developed from there but um, the speed came from dad with motor racing and uh, the horses came from mum with uh, the way she grew up so I was got a, got a pretty lucky blend. Prior to the, all the Covid lockdowns, yes I certainly used to love going to the race courses and the pull was seeing Tom and seeing Tom winning or just competing. It's fantastic, certainly when there's a big field of horses I mean that close quarter racing. It's quite frightening actually, I, I think, because you haven't got a brake and you haven't got a steering wheel. <laughs> I think it's very visible to see that skill in action, which you don't see when you watch racing cars. Occasionally when I come to a course, I suddenly feel a, a, a level of apprehension, which is completely unfounded. Um, so in, in reality, no, I don't. No, I don't get nervous. That's where I no. get it from. I never get it's weird. I, I think I'm weird. I never get nervous. No. So that's probably where I get it no, from. No, I don't. Who dares wins and the Grand Vizier charging down the outside. Where was I? Uh, I was watching it on TV. It was just me. <laughs> <laughs> but I, well, I was screaming and shouting, but I think the real big one for me was Australia. Heading up towards the line, who dares wins on the far side of half length to Grand Vizier. Who dares wins, pulls out all the stops to win. Who dares wins from the Grand Vizier. Everyone has got to roll Ascot. You come in with such high expectations and realistically you walk away with relatively little to show for it. If you're lucky, <clears throat> you might walk away with one winner like last year. Um, but genuinely, I mean, it's a, it's it's a week that everyone walks into praying and, and hoping that they that they come away with the big ones. Um, and to be honest, I suppose the lineups probably looking stronger than ever with the link up with William Haggis and some really nice horses there. And um, it could be a bit ground dependent as obviously a Dave's entered up, um, so that he's always one to look forward to when he comes back to a track. But you and Holly don't go into the, ana the analytical side of it. I, I've noticed that you know whenever I go down to. To, 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 to Hungerford where they live the, the two of them are sitting there analysing in great detail this race, that race and the, the, the sort of, you know, the little uh, the, the minutiae of it I suppose they're, they're not, they're, they don't do that they do seem to relax into just being with each other very quickly and very charmingly actually yeah, it's nice to see There's no getting away from the fact that it's a 7 job, like really, and it's a, well, it's not a job, it's a life, isn't it? You, you know, yesterday was a Sunday, and I think it's the only Sunday with no flat racing for the next five and a half months or something, five months. So, realistically, it's probably the only day off before we get together, and it is nice to go and do something different, but it's not really our reality. You know, our reality is getting up and going racing every day. Keep your feet on the ground, don't get too big for your boots that's that you know <laughs> I think horse racing does it for you like because you know everyone sees a lot of winners but realistically you operate at a 15% strike rate if you're lucky so there's a lot of there's a lot of leveling straight off as soon as you've gone up so you know take for example last year we walked away from Champions Day um, and you're you know you walk away and you've, you've had the best day you can possibly have and yet the next day you're waking up and going to Wolverhampton and, and you know, you don't it, you don't have to force yourself to come back to sort of ground level. You, you're there anyway because you just have to get up and do, do it again and um, I don't know, I guess it grows relatively normal. The success hasn't changed Tom one iota. The, I think, you know, the modesty that he's that he shows is, is fantastic. No, because a lot of people it could really go to the heads and can, you know I am the big I am and that hasn't happened and neither has it happened with Holly either which I'm very proud of that, that they, they still they're just still Tom and Holly despite all of this fantastic success that's great that's yes I'm very proud of that as much as his achievements